What's up guys, my name is Mr. Tag Beast and I'm here to bring you guys some more Call of Duty Ghost news and information. So first of all, I am bringing you guys another Black Ops 2 gameplay with commentary. But today what I want to talk to you guys about is another leak that has went down with this Tesco website. I don't know if this Tesco website is teasing us or what, but they keep <laughs> leaking a ton of information and then taking it right back down. And of course, the new source that I do use, which is Charlie Intel, they have been awesome bros and they've stayed on top of this information. Keep putting it on the site and updating it. That way we can get this news and information out and that's what source I do use for my videos because a lot of you guys have been asking and wondering the link is down below in the description and I'll basically sum it all up and put it in a video myself. So first of all, let's go ahead and read the description of the new Call of Duty Ghost game. So it says the franchise has defined a generation of gaming is set to raise the bar once again with the all new Call of Duty Ghost. Published by Activision and developed by Infinity Ward, the studio that created original Call of Duty and the seminal Call of Duty Modern Warfare series. Call of Duty Ghosts ushers in the next direction of the franchise, delivering a repetitive all-new gameplay experience built on an entirely new story, setting, cast, all powered by a next-generation Call of Duty engine. Now, you guys might have been wondering, Mr. Tagbees, why are you slowing down on the last little sentence? New Call of Duty engine. New Call of Duty engine. I'm just trying to emphasize that to you guys. As you guys can see, Activision did release a new engine showing some absolutely crazy emotions. Basically, the emotions are showing like wrinkles under people's eyes, bags under their eyes, little dark marks on their face, makeup, and basically it looks so real. And this is the next Call of Duty engine. But I'm wondering, are they going to save that for the PS4 and the Xbox 720 or the Xbox Infinity, as well as is this uh, game going to be running on this uh, engine that I'm thinking of, the new Activision engine that all of us have seen? So that's a huge question that I really want to be answered. I'm thinking it's going to be running on that new Activision engine, but if the game is going to be on the Xbox 360 and PS3, how are those graphics going to be implemented in such a compact system while the PS4 and the Xbox 720 have the new Radeon graphics cards? So that's really a huge question that I am asking, and also leave a comment down below telling me what you guys think about that also there's going to be a new story uh, storyline so basically a new ghost character that's what I'm thinking of because the name of the Call of Duty is Call of Duty Ghost so I'm thinking it's going to be a ghost character wearing that mask and that mask looks absolutely sexy I'm gonna have to order me one soon but I'm thinking that ghost character is going to be wearing it and that's going to look absolutely sexy and hopefully it's like this guy has to break out or he might be a ninja assassin or something of that nature and also it says the gameplay experience built on entirely new story setting and cast all powered by the next generation call of duty engine so there's going to be new gameplay i'm going to be making another video coming up about the new multiplayer gameplay features i have got some leaked information also i have some information that i've been digging up on google so that video will be coming very soon so stay tuned for that as well but the uh, pre-order date or release date for this game i'm thinking is going to be 5-1 i made a video previously about call of duty ghosts on when the trailer is going to be coming out april the 30th so we do have some new news and information about that on April the 1st well on May 1st the uh, official I think marketing and things of that is going to go live and such as GameStop Walmart uh, Best Buy things of that nature the official marketing is going to go live go haywire and then they're just going to start promoting their game but on April the 30th I'm thinking they're going to do some sort of uh, reveal trailer as you can see on the image on screen they're both very similar uh, from the previous Black Ops 2 and the current day Call of Duty Ghost so so we'll just have to see for that but I'm thinking they're going to be releasing a reveal trailer here on the next April the 30th so that's coming up in a short amount of time that's coming up very soon so uh, that's when that will be coming out so it says it's going to be having a new campaign and setting basically I'm just going to think it's going to take place a whole new country a whole new time and date and a whole bunch of futuristic weapons or a whole bunch of old weapons I'm thinking Call of Duty and Activision or leaning more towards the futuristic I don't think they're going to go back in time because all of the previous Call of Duties were made from previous wars that happened in the world. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, remember to leave a like rating down below. It really does help out the channel and it does help me grow. As well as leave a comment down below telling me what you thought about this news and information. As well as click the subscribe button top right. That way you can be notified on all the new Call of Duty news, info, and as well as when gameplay come out, I will have that on the channel page. Thanks for watching. My name is Mr. Tech Beast. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'm out. Peace.